Don't you guys want to watch it? Let's In watch class, it. My name is Professor Lando, and today we're talking about three things. Girl failures. We love girl failures. Thinly veiled homosexuality. Wait, what? And centaurs. Let's start with centaurs. the first, though. Girl failures. I... I vaguely remember the centaur talk. So what I vaguely exactly remember it. a girl failure? Bochi. Bochi the Rock. Okay, so what we I have, have, have here are three never examples seen... of girl failures. Oh, oops. Here we... I have never seen, um... The the circus the the, the circus thing I, I don't remember what it was called digital um, circus that one Bucky that one rock and comedy from Chainsaw Man we have a hi, Professor Lando yes hi from these faces in the eyes yeah. a sort of primal fear yeah right and uh, the quivering lips there. shaking perhaps some jewel coming there. out conveying the sense of indecisiveness uh, I'll, I'll just perhaps, stay down here fear largely so. I and, get uh, the that fear is also I demonstrated the... by that look in the eyes again on the verge of tears. The face here is important because oh, we I need to make are it big. I'm social so sorry. creatures. We look at each other and we look at the face. We look at the facial expressions to determine I love whether Butchie. this person is friendly, I love Butchie, the whether rock this man. person is dangerous. <laughs> and this is embedded in our DNA. When we were primitive creatures, we were using facial expressions to communicate. If we were just apes, we would go, ah, 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 and we would use our face to show our teeth. Ah, ah, ah. We would communicate that way. It's an a girl failure example. I am, um, bro, I am such a fucking girl failure example, man. It's Kada! Welcome in! Hey there, Kada. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the follow. Hi, myself on YouTube. I'm not 100 percent sure yet if I'm gonna upload it on YouTube. As said, I think I did watch yeah, this video after all. What, that was the red bar. What is this communicating to you? Uh, hmm? So we'll see. Fear, anxiety. Yeah. Uh, uselessness. Yes. On the verge of mental collapse, and that's the. I guess it's pe people just being able to relate to it. Why it's so popular, man? Key with girl failures here, not. Full mental collapse. Potential future not self. Complete <laughs> lunacy. They're not quite being checked in to Arkham Asylum just yet, but just on Mods. the verge. What about Mods? In a way. Well, Bochi, Bochi here might be fully there, but Co Kobeni, some, some humanity left trying to, uh, I don't know what exactly. I never like Kobeni. Fear At least not from the anime really episodes. Separate girl They're just like me for real, for real. <laughs> characters. Now you might be asking, well, Professor, you've out. Also, speaking of Bochi the Rock, I heard, and I think this was recent, actually, I think this was recent, that the anime man, so Joey, said, like, Joey talked about how Butch in the Rock wouldn't represent anxiety properly, and, like, what? Me as an anxiety-driven person? Yes, I did! <laughs> what? Okay, so you don't watch the video and just talk to chat, do better. My bad, my bad, my bad. Sorry, sorry. I didn't notice that there was Bochi on the screen. My bad. My bad, man. <laughs> Me talking about Bochi, a girl failure, relevant to the video? Huh? What? Impossible. Impossible. Focus. Hey, the sorry for real, for real, for real, chat, for real, for real. Um, yeah. So, have you guys thought about uh, Joey saying that? Like, that's crazy for me. I might look into that after this video again. I wish I, I had a snack. Oh, quite pathetic <laughs> traits so far. I don't know how this connects with being popular, with being well liked. Why are these characters? They're relatable. Like you want to protect them. You want to help them. Why are they so popular? Well, let's first take a look at a formal definition of girl failures. I believe the term girl failure has its origins, like many other words and terms, from Tumblr, but its popularization comes oh. in the form of a tweet. This tweet is coming from Rory at X Force Apologist. Thank you. Enough thank girl you. bosses. I need girl failures. Just Legit. an absolute loser of a yeah. female character. Yeah. More women who suck. Maybe he couldn't relate. Me too, buddy. <laughs> Looking back at our examples. They are nervous. They are unable to cope with their situations. They're unable to make decisive decisions. They break down. They run away. They are failures. But why? They're real. Absolute <laughs> They're losers. real. Why are these characters so popular? In They're really relatable. Failures, let's take a look at another word. Baby Very girl. Much a Tumblr-esque word similar in line with girl failures. 
the baby girl. The only thing I can think about is when I hear baby girl is a Joel saying it to Ellie, man. And when Joel called her baby girl. Oh my god, my heart melts. My heart melts so much. Now, the baby girl is, quote, a term of endearment used to describe attractive or cute men, including fictional characters from various fandoms in an infantilizing way. Why then? Why do people like these characters? Men want to be reliable. That's why they're so popular. Yeah. Okay, this is a graph birth of rates? birth rates in the United States from 1950 to 2023. Why are we looking and at this birth rates? Coming from the United Nations World Population Prospects. So what can we see here? Well, an obvious decline. I don't think you need great baby girl i remember a stream i was watching last night of a sad girl throwing a so-called tantrum that weekend on stream okay the hell and like is she usually like in the baby girl trope and what did she throw the tantrum about like huh the decline is because anime and vtubers became a thing that's what it reminded you of? Okay. You have to know that people in general are having less kids, or rather, no kids at all. So yeah. what does this kids are expensive. about girl failures and their popularization? Well, I have a theory. We are not convinced of the sort of traditional outlook on family any longer. People are yeah. just simply not having kids. But yeah. we're what? only human and humans are driven by the same the, like, natural the, instincts the, yeah, yeah. that our primitive ancestors were driven by australopithecus lucy in the sky with diamonds yes we are animalistic primitive beings driven by our instincts and i think if you look in the biological world one of these instincts is to breed breed Okay, okay, I'm letting him cook, I'm letting him cook. Kito's to blame for all the German birth rates going down. Clearly. <laughs> Personally. Personally. De oh, yeah, Pedro I Pascal, I there he is! That picture of Pedro Pascal, I can't even, uh, can't even remember my point. <laughs> girl failure. Example. Called you! Joel, baby girl! The amazing digital circus, the indie YouTube animation. Baby girl. Example. Pedro Pascal, the Chilean Wait. actor rising. He is a baby girl! In prominence for his role as Hold Obi Martel in Game of Thrones. What do these two people have in common? Well, the conclusion that I'm drawing here, class, is that we have created girl failures, baby girls, and have taken various people and characters and categorized them. I mean, have you guys seen the guy? Have you guys actually seen Pedro Pascal? Like, I, I guess, no, no, it does make sense because he is such a cutie, man. He is such a cutie that you just want to protect. No, 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 I get it. No, I get it. He's absolutely right. Like, now that I'm looking at it, he's absolutely a baby girl. No, no, no. Professor Lando is cooking. Petra Pascal is absolutely a baby girl. I just, I do just want to protect Petra Pascal. Have you guys seen that guy smile? You just want to have pet them and put them in a box and protect them from all the bad things in the world. Deem them as so, because we as humans, as animals, have this latent desire to breed, to have okay. children, and to sure. take care of said children. But yeah. we're smarter than that. Are There's we? a lot of reasons, economic, cultural, that keeps us, that makes us say, have you no, seen his thighs? I don't want to no. have children. But, but I think yeah. that that they biological the following trigger, design. that Same. desire to breed that's in us all, bubbles over. And it portrays itself, it but. comes to fruition in this displacement of wanting to take care of of these characters in okay. place of actual children. Okay, class, a uh, girl failure. Uh, yeah, so what is that? You just wanna take care of them. On the exam, okay. so please make sure to okay. study up on that. Okay. The next okay. thing we're gonna be talking about today, the cosplay paradox. Now this is a uh, hypothetical thought experiment of huh? my own design, but I think there's some very key information that is of significance to us. Imagine mm -hmm. your bro, your friend. Oh no! Oh, I think and I remember this. this model, oh no! Oh no! A level of attraction 
zero to ten. I want to blame MadPad for Petra's eye. I don't think I've seen that video. Oh god. Oh no. Zero being absolutely no oh, attraction. No. And oh, 10 no. being very, very, very attractive. Oh no. Let's say you have your bro and you ask him to wear a cosplay. Are we getting to tomboys now? No. For the sake of this model, let's say it's an Astolfo cosplay. Astolfo? And now your mm -hmm. bro is wearing Suddenly the your bro was hot. Now, that's not your bro. That's your bro? That's Astolfo. Yeah, and that's Astolfo. Now, if you look at the attraction here, I it would went say up to 10. definitely markedly more. Without a shadow of a doubt, yeah. if you okay, take your maybe bro, it went up to seven. Let's say it went up to ten. Any seven. degree, a zero, and they wear an Astolfo cosplay, that number is going to go up. One hundred percent. Yes, it's going on up. What degree, it's going to go Definitely. up. But let's settle on a middling value. Let's just say my attraction now to this Astolfo cosplay. Let's say seven is. Five. Oh, come on, that's a little now, bit low for your bro. Now this is where the bro. takes play. This is where the paradox occurs. Mm -hmm. Let's say that your bro, this Astolfo cosplayer, it's a tomboy. removes yes. <laughs> part of the cosplay, undresses, but oh. still retains remnants oh, no. of the original cosplay. You would now see no. an un. <laughs> Is it your bro or is it Astolfo now? Dressed Astolfo, which, if you take a look at attraction, markedly increased. Let's say to a nine. Role. Hell, let's just say a nine point five for sake of argument. Here. Oh, a naked Astolfo is markedly more attractive. But this is where the paradox sure. comes into play. Somehow, less cosplay because there is no longer any clothing. Except for the thigh height, well, Stop. we've got to keep the thigh height. Yeah, you number. gotta keep the Based thighs, the he's right. That we're seeing here, you would say that the less cosplay that is worn by the Astolfo, the more attractive it is. But there is a critical point, a turning point. Upon removing the final articles of the cosplay, oh, no. that's just your bro. That's bro, just your no. bro, he's naked. Oh no! All of a sudden, what did I do? Okay, students, so I wanted to talk about one last thing here. Uh, All recently, of a sudden. something's come up in the intellectual discussion, and it involves the topic of oh, centaurs, no. which is something that we've discussed at length here. Centaurs. But the controversy is recently the there has been a new addition to the archive and uh, collection of centaurs, and that is this. What you see here, I know, calm down. This is calm down. so we, cursed. We'll calm down. This is so uh, this cursed, is chat. Look at this. I've seen that when it came out. Like, look at this, chat. Look at this. That is so cursed beyond cursed. I can't even excuse the size on this. I cannot excuse the size sauce. I think it's a mobile game. I think it's a mobile gotcha game. Saber? I don't know. I don't know. We've come for us humans, eh? Four thighs. Wait, no, never mind. She's so hot. Nope, nope, she's not. <laughs> this, the middle, it's just a bro, like. It's. Oh my god, it is so cursed. Uh, just. <laughs> I wanna cry. I wanna cry, chat. Like seeing this is just uh, why why does it exist? Why? No, why chat? Why? Why? <laughs> Me just going through all the eye expressions. <laughs> Would it be better if she was hairy? Yes. <laughs> If she actually had a horse buddy, it would be better. Sue me. Fucking sue me. Call me a furry. I don't care. If it was an actual horse buddy, it would be better. Why not Centaur from Monster M Musume? I don't know. Tar Minerva, this character, from the idol RPG called The Book of Yogg. So, first things first, Book of what Yorg. do we have That's here? The what sauce. exactly is the controversy? And... I think obviously here we can see what is missing, and that is, or rather, the what actual horse. missing. There is skin. Where should yeah. be horse. Hair. <laughs> a horse's hair, to be exact. There is no horse bottom. If you see here, the bottom half has the shape. It's so cursed. Has the form 
of a centaur, but upon inspection, we see skin. And so let's break down exactly what is causing They thought they were cooking, but here. oh boy, did they Holland burn the food. Diagram. Okay, so what we have pictured here is a simplistic diagram of, of a what is generally yeah. known to be a Why centaur. Why is there a bucket so at the, the bottom? problem with this centaur Minerva, I have a question. or should What's I say your question? centaur Minerva, is that the bottom half, starting from around waist, generally waist, um, is mm -hmm. what we see from most centaurs, the yeah. bottom half of from, this centaur we see a horse. is flesh. Pet we see ha hairless cat. flesh. Hairless cats are cute. Of human uh, origins. I like hairless cats. In the form of a centaur. Okay, so what we have here is a <laughs> model with multiple examples to see if we can narrow down a formal definition Come of here, let what me sit next is to a centaur and what should not be a centaur. So let's take a look at these one by one. First up, we have the Minerva case with the recent controversy. This is human plus human makes human flesh uh, just, centaur. Just don't do it. I think we it. found out real quickly just that don't that do is it. not it's what just, having no, the flesh so, color it's a human does not inspire well, no, confidence the in that type of centaur. So this is not a centaur. Hey, those cats uh, are disgusting. Up, I... Okay, I'm interrupting the video. Sorry, YouTube. But I'm interrupting the video. I need to address this right away. Give me a moment. I need to address this. Of people saying that hairless cats are disgusting. No, they're not. They are adorable. Uh, copy link. Sorry, I had to scroll up in the DMs with Xcode a little. Uh, Xcode Exigon a tiny bit. One ton reach. Welcome. Sorry, YouTube, for the interruption. But look at this. Look at this little cute chunky. Look at this cutie chunky. What do you mean disgusting? What do you mean gross? Look at this little baby. Look at this little baby. This is a little baby. Little baby. Little cutesy. Do they deserve any less love because they don't have fur? No, of course not. Hairless cats are like hairless centaur. <laughs> No! Because they don't have human skin! The Chat, the difference between a hairless cat and the centaur is that the center has human skin! It's not horse skin! This is human skin! What makes it disgusting? I think hairless cats look weird, but I don't think they look gross or disgusting. That is fair. Thinking they look weird is fair, I'll give you that, but thinking they look gross or disgusting, come on, man. Come on, chat. But the center is fourth eyes, so it makes up for it. It just doesn't. It looks like an amalgamation. I do find hairless cats ugly, but that is subjective. It can be ugly, skin. but ugly cute. And so let's break down exactly what is causing such a visceral reaction here. Uh, let me draw a diagram. Oh, sorry. Uh, we already watched that. Let me go ahead now. Yeah. <laughs> there was cat okay, dog too. So what we have for Tars, the recent centaur. Centaur. So this so, is not yeah. a centaur. Centaur uh, are half human and horse. Yes. Human plus horse equals what? Yes. It's not a centaur. centaur. Yeah. And yeah. I think we all know yep, that, that yep, works. Yep, yep, this yep. classical model, half human, half not horse. No, hairless foxes. Hairless foxes are not a proper thing, though. But only in this ratio. If you flipped it as you found out in one of my previous lectures, with top horse, bottom human, that doesn't Wait, work what? Well. well, so here we have horse plus horse is illegal. That's illegal. Yes. So just, that just... That just... Well, that doesn't work. That just it's not. sort of a contradictory model here. Uh, human plus human, wrong. Horse yeah. plus horse, wrong. But human horse, good. There's something here. Let's take a look at these other examples to see. He's cooking, here he's cooking. Here we have, uh, taking this one a step further, human, human. Plus human. Human again, a third human. That is the human centipede. Wrong. <laughs> Perhaps human plus human. Human centipede. Is just an extension, or rather the preceding human version. Horse is the best. Of human centipede. <laughs> and that's why when we see the uh, flesh-colored uh, consistency uniformity Cat Dog, Cat uh, Dog was amazing, uh, The Minerva yeah. character from the uh, game Book of Yogg, 
That's why people are having such a negative emotion. Anything that even remotely resembles a human centipede Hello. situation is going to be frowned upon. Here we have cat plus dog equals cat, cat dog. dog. Uh, this is the character from the popular children's show of the same name, Cat Dog. Cat when we dog, look at this, cat dog. they are a line of the world. conscious beings. A line of However, the world, but they're kind of cat I dog. am thinking this is not really a centaur. However, no, it's not. in the next example, we have half a human and that's Another just a human. That's just a why. And you get the mannequin doll monster from Silent Hill, which is just two bottom halves. That's of just a, a why. Put together. And I think that's f to this day I still so wonder how they should. So like good. That. That's good. That what? works for me. No. And you might think that that is sick. That is twisted. Um, but yeah. Talk about this. Okay. Half human, half human. Yeah. When you add half a human and half human together, yeah. that's just one human. And I think it's perfectly Shut normal the math is to be math attracted math to a Shut human, the math is a math math human. Oh no, so the math that is math is sort of like an A squared plus B squared equals C squared situation. There is no difference from this scenario, the Silent Hill mannequin scenario, than just dating a singular person. So what Shit, conclusion he's cooking. do we really draw is you don't want to push the boundaries too far. That's how we get a human centipede situation. That's how we get <laughs> a cat dog situation. Cat That's dog how fun. we go to jail. In <laughs> some states, <laughs> or all states, pro probably all states. If you happen to know a state that that's mm, not, centipede. feel free to message me so that I can, um, for reference, so I uh. can update this lecture going forward. So uh. please, please reach uh. out. Oh. Students. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Hello. Thank you so much for watching. Professor Lando here with a little Hello message. Professor Just want to say that this video right here is going to be the last video that's of the school That's some freaky mess. So it really was some freaky mess. For 2023. Uh, it's been a little over two years since I started making videos and Yo. opening the doors here at Ligma University and uh, meeting all you students. So I just want to say thank you guys so much. Uh, definitely changed my life. It's been, um, it's been wild. I've got a lot of really weird and cool and fun opportunities thanks to all this and you guys. And I've even gotten to so meet you guys you sing. and uh, share some laughs, laughs and, uh, and learn something, right? Most importantly, learn something. Thank you again for everything. And uh, I'll see you in 2024. <laughs> thanks. Uh, Professor Lando collab when? Honestly, I do want to do a Professor Lando collab at one point. I would love to do a Professor Lando collab at one point, man. Thanks, Teach. Now I have nightmares. <laughs> my imagination during this video scored my mind. Oh no. Oh no.